Are you doing okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. Newspaper. He opened the newspaper <laughs> under the light of the kitchen <laughs> to brighten the news of muggings, breakings, and murders of last night. After he took a deep breath, knowing he contributed to beautifying the world of this ugly modern city, he put the coffin up on. As if again he had to go to war and he needed his morning fix. <laughs> we wish to find in the mysticism of the Holy Grove, there, in the moist autumn fragrance, canticle of sounds that flew into ears unaccustomed to beauty, there, in the night breeze, where the meaning of beauty was freely served, there, in the mind's serenity, we have for years longed, though totally unconcerned, we wasted in the wrong throw of dice. There, I say, happiness was hidden. We couldn't understand. It was us who buried it there. Memory lost. Rekindled and our symbols became the other man's dagger. Oh. Wow. Wow. I'm going to read this poem for you. It's called High Herodos. This book of poetry, the Greek version of it, is being published in Greece by a Greek publisher, and he loved this poem so much. He used the title of this poem as the title of the book in Greece. Mm -hmm. The book in Greece is called Hyero, the also old book here is Autumn Leaves. It's the same poetry in Greek. Hyero, Hyero is the prostitute, today's connotation of the word. In the old days, Hyero was a beautiful woman who were tending the temple of Aphrodite, mm -hmm. the goddess of love. Yes, yes. And because they were taking care of the temple, they not only took care of the temple in cleaning and maintaining the setup, but they were also giving themselves to the visitors, many visitors of the temple, because they were doing what Aphrodite wanted them to do. She was the goddess of love. This is where the word comes from, Hierodul, these two Greek words, Hieron, which is the temple, and Duli, which is the serpent. Hierodul means actually the servant of the temple. But today's connotation of the word is a prostitute. This is the connotation I'm talking about. After midnight, in the, in the cloyed atmosphere of the casino's underbelly, things are not as they seem. I sat at the slot machine, forgive me for the interjection, this is true to a certain point, my experience in the casino in Las Vegas. I sat at the slot machine trying to synchronize my mind to the machine's rhythm. <laughs> Brain balancing precariously between mild intoxication and growing in, growing in abbreviation. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol consumption, evident. Limbs and mind loose. Chasing the, that elusive hit as I heard an alluring voice behind me. Hi, baby, how are you? <laughs> A blonde young hooker passed by me, brushing her voluptuousness on my back. 
voice as sweet as honey dripping into innocence. And I, in my middle sixties, mid sixties, took this as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it came from the promiscuous and cunning lips of the young blonde hooker. <laughs> my brain now it becomes a little serious. The poem up to now it was light. My brain reeled in the clutches of alcohol, philosophical thoughts, and unexpected comparisons. The young hierodo, who for a few dollars could sell me sexual pleasure. The casino that for a fistful of dollars, sold me the ephemeral joy of machine combinations, the lack of the draw and hop, and the other higher of all, the greatest, which for a few dollars more, sells with innumerable jones the safety of heaven. Mm-hmm. <laughs>